everyone and happy new year this is my first video of 2022 i said 2021 a few times so i had to <laughs> re-record because the last few years have gone by in a blink of an eye or too slow for some of us but anyhow i am here it's been a while i'm a little rusty and today i have a list of things to do and I'm just procrastinating but I also felt a little eh, so I said I should put some makeup on and lately I've downsized my makeup routine and um, I put it all here in my little bag it's very minimal and I wanted to get ready with you guys because I missed you I missed sitting in front of the camera and getting ready so yeah nothing fancy uh, but clean you know what the next word is gonna be right glowy and uh, just put together ready for for the day I'm going to start with my say beauty slip cover because it has SPF and it's just easy to apply so I'm putting two pumps and then I'm going to just gently massage this onto my skin it gives me sun protection but at the same time it covers a little bit of the redness because it is tinted and it does come in a lot of colors and shades that will match your skin it does leave your skin with just a very natural, barely there coverage. So as you can see, it covered a little bit of my redness, still left my skin with a little bit of glow. So let's cover the dark circles and all this blemishes and spots that I thought by now at this age it will be gone but stress has taken a toll. I'm gonna go very little right in here in this divot where I have most of my darkness because now I have a multitude of wrinkles underneath my eyes, hello 40s, so I don't want to um, concentrate the product so close to the lash line where we're just gonna set into all the fine lines. I'm just gonna do that and then I have a little spot here and here and here. And just to give my nose a little definition, that's my only correction so to speak that I wanna do. So I'm just gonna highlight the bridge of my nose and then gently with a damp sponge I'm going to press everything in. Right now during the winter I love this concealer a lot. It's the Ilia Hydrating Serum Concealer. It just beautifully beautifully sets and hydrates under the eyes without looking crusty and and I'm gonna leave this area my lash line I'm gonna leave it alone it's gonna look a little darker but it's alright it just kind of gives you the illusion of having a little bit of eyeshadow there again this is just a day barely there makeup Right, and then I'm gonna gently blend this to cover my spots. I love how that slip tint left this beautiful glow on the skin. All right, so I'm gonna set just the parts that I want to set, which is mostly my T-zone. I'm going to use this beautiful Ilia powder that's just barely there. 
it blurs and also it uh, completely, completely mattifies without leaving your skin dry. So I'm gonna take it on a bigger brush and just go on my chin and just a little bit right here on the nose and a little bit under the eyes, not too much. Whatever I have left, I'm gonna go right here in between my eyebrows. And uh, that's it for the powder. Now I do feel like my face is a little flat, so, and it's winter, so let's bring a touch of warmth and joy. And for that, I'm going to take the Persona, this is Sahara Bronze Stick, which is a little darker, but it's all right. We'll work with it. So I'm gonna go a very little here, here, couple here, a little bit like this. And then, because I do like my nose a little bit more chiseled, I'm gonna go a little bit on the sides. And uh, before we start looking like a clown, let's blend this in and just make it look like we're sun-kissed and we just came back from a nice vacation. This product melts like butter into your skin. So it's a very easy to work with. And it has a very, very natural finish. I don't feel like I need to set it with an extra bronzer, a powder bronzer, because I do feel that, well, it's winter and my skin, it is a touch dry. So I'm gonna go in circular motions because as you can see, I wanna give my skin a little bit of glow and uh, not so much a contour. Just my nose, I wanna contour a little bit, but. I wanna feel like, again, I came back from vacation. So I'm not gonna keep it too drastic. Just nice and soft. Whatever I have left here, I'm gonna go a little bit right here in my my eyelids and then I'm gonna gently blend this in like I said it just blends so beautifully I don't have to press you can use your fingers if you want all right I think I am happy with how everything looks so far and let's give our cheeks a little bit of more color. I'm going to use my Ilia stick in all of me. I need glasses. Again, hello 40s. So I'm gonna touch this one finger and just smile and put it right on the apples and then just a little bit high up so I don't drag my cheek down. It's such a beautiful, beautiful color. And then to bring that rosiness to the skin, I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna go right here on my eyelid and just kind of blend it, blend it. And then I'm gonna go across my nose like hello i'm back to life <laughs> and we're gonna do the same thing on the other cheek tap 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 a little bit on the eyelid across the nose and uh that looks good i'm very happy skin looks fresh and healthy before I move on to the eyes, I think I want an extra glow. I'm gonna go in with my Merit highlighter and 
just going to take this on two fingers, just warm it up and then gently give myself a nice glow. Ah, oh, are we back to life or what? I love this highlighter so much because it just, it melts into the skin. It's not frosty and it just catches the light so beautifully. Makes your cheeks look like your skin is just fully moisturized and healthy. And that's all we want, right? I'll put a little bit on my cupid's bow here and then just a little bit on like top of my eyebrows to bring this whole glow together and uh, okay let's try a touch here and a touch here and that's it I'm gonna Leave it as is because I love it. So far, so good. For mascara, I have something that just blew my mind. I've seen it around and I thought, ah, how good could it be? It's the Swede Pro Lash Lift Mascara that has the tiniest wand comb ever. You're gonna say, how are you even going to do your lashes with that? Let's see if we can. Come on, focus. There it is. You can't even see it. So before I do that, I'm going to curl my lashes to just give them that natural lift. And then the magic that this mascara does. Okay, let's take a moment of appreciation for this tiny little <laughs> wand that makes magic. So let's do the other eye. And just put it in with the base of the lashes and wiggle it out. And because of the shape of the wand, you can actually tight line your upper lash lines. So your lashes become, well, it gives you the illusion of thicker, longer lashes. So just press the wand at the base and it will create this nice dark line right at the base of your lashes. And then once you concentrated the product at the base, just swipe up. How gorgeous. And it combs them beautifully. And just like that. I did want to bring a little bit of brightness to my eyes, so Let's hope I'm not disturbing the mascara. I'm gonna take the Sweet Lashes pencil in Nude and just do that. Where my eyes are all of a sudden brighter. I slept eight hours last night and that's that. For the lips, I'm going to use the same Ilia stick that I use on my cheeks and my eyelids. However, I'm going to cheat a little bit and give my lips a touch of definition because they're not as full as I would want them to be, but just enough around the corners. It also helps with the staying power of the stick. So I'm concentrating in the corners where my lips are not as thick, as full. Okay. 
and then I'm simply going to take my Ilya stick and just warm up a little bit of product on my finger and just tap it. And if you feel that your contour, your lip contour is a little too harsh, just take a little eyeshadow soft brush and I'm just going to blur those lines so everything looks like I just kissed someone and I have a little bit left over lip color on. And that is it for me. If I need to take one last look in the mirror, I'm gonna take a touch of powder and go right here between my nose and my mouth. And that is my effortless every day. I'm going to run some errands right now and I do feel put together and pretty. And oh, shall we address the elephant in the room that I chopped my hair? And that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm really excited to start the year with new content and be over here more often. Let me know in the comments below what you'd love to see. I am lacking ideas at the moment as I've been into this big funk. A lot of us probably have. So I could use your help. Let me know what you'd love to see from me. It's I'm going to have some travel, travel coming up, so I look forward to documenting that and taking you guys with me. But other than that, I hope this year has started well for everyone and you're good and healthy and happy. Keep it that way. Stay beautiful, stay natural, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Mwah.